Hey guys, this is Mark DeVerte. I'm in the river swamp with Sham. Sham is the guy who knows all about manatees. They used to look for manatee all over, but nobody didn't know the exact spot the manatee was. I used to like fish, or crab, cascado, so I always knew them manatee was here. But you know, people used to come from like Plumita and Beach and hunt them, harpoon them, and sometimes they get them and they, and they used to remain in the stream and die and, you know. When we started, we had about close about within 30 to 35 manatee in the entire swamp. Now it have about 45. And they would have what, like one pup or one, two pups? One calf. One calf. One calf every five years. One every five years. Yeah, wow. One every okay. five years. Right. So they're really, really slow at reproducing. Yeah, yeah. It's a, sober, a, a, a real slow breeding cycle. And the calves stay with them up to two and a half years. They suck. They drink milk, you know. The calf drink milk, you know. Now there's a lot of patience involved in manatee watching. They only come up for breath like maybe every 15 or 20 minutes. But all we're seeing are these little snouts that come up above water. The picture is really bad quality, but look at the center of it. It is thrilling to know that attached to that snout is a mammal that can weigh 1,200 pounds. Manatees eat about 10% of their body weight in vegetation each day. Outside of Florida, there are only about 2,500 West Indian manatees. 25 to 45 of those live in Trinidad. So even if all we see is a snout, it is a privilege to be so close to such a rare animal. Sulan, look at the camera. Tell me about your manatee watching experience. Well, I can't confirm that there's manatees, but there are snouts in the river. In this one, definitely snouts. Well, since you make it so far, you could, you could start from tomorrow to work. Yeah. You could do a, a good tour. <laughs>